Malachi's prophecy concludes with a succession of Pope Benedict by a man who will herald the end of the world. Malachi named this final Pope Petrus Romanus, Peter the Roman. The prophecy for the 112th Pope is in the extreme persecution of the Holy Roman Church, there will sit Peter the Roman, who will nourish the sheep during many tribulations. And when they are finished, the city of seven hills will be destroyed, and the dreadful judge will judge his people the end. Now that's quite an ending, and it seems to intersect with biblical prophecy. The Malachi prophecy matches the book of Revelation in chapter 17 with the city of seven hills being judged. That being the case, it seems to me that it's predicting the events of the book of Revelation. Now, if that's true, then, then during the next Pope's reign, we will see the tribulation period predicted by the Bible. The clip from the History Channel that you just watched is incorrect on one point. Following the Gloria Olive, or currently, as we know, Pope Benedict the Sixteenth, there's a second. There's a phrase that precedes the Petrus Romanus. And it is a separate sentence from Petrus Romanus. P uh, Saint Malachi was not the greatest of Latin spellers. In fact, the whole uh, letter that he wrote, all the different mottos for all the different popes, uh, are riddled with Latin uh, spelling errors. When you look at the actual translation of each word, you will see that the proper translation as far as literal would be about or in the midst of persecutions extreme Holy Roman Church seat or it could also be translated as chair or see so after the Gloria Olive will be the per extreme persecution of the Holy Roman Church seat ie the papacy and after that comes Petrus Romanus. A sign from God. Just hours after the Pope announced his surprise resignation, the heavens over Rome opened and the top of St. Peter's Basilica was struck by lightning. As the sky was lit up by the huge bolt, it led to speculation as to whether Benedict XVI's boss was less than happy with the news. The apparent divine intervention came as the 85-year-old pontiff sent shockwaves through the church on Monday after announcing his retirement, the first pope to do so in 700 years, saying he no longer had the mental or physical strength to carry on.